Welcome back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHDS. And remember, our goal is always to guide you to personal and financial wealth. Well, thank you for joining us on this beautiful Saturday. That's right. You're here on the Don and Rob Schwartz Real Estate and Finance Show. Gino's out for bad behavior. I think he's getting coal in his stocking this Christmas, but we wish you happy holidays and we're really excited to have you on the show today. That's right, every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. for going on seven years now, sharing with what you need to know, want to know, and should know about real estate, finance, and so much more. Our goal is to always guide you to personal financial wellness and no better way than with my co-host today, Mr. Robert Schwartz. I'm sure you recognize him. He's been on the show, oh, I don't know, 15, 16 times Yeah, something now. like that at least. We like him, and you will too, because we're going to talk about one of the most important subjects we ever talk about the show. Obviously, there's credit, how to get into home, the real estate market, which is strong, by the way, and I'll go into a little bit of details towards the end of the show just so you know what's going on, but today we have Rob talking about the insights and intervenes of college planning. A lot of you always think about testing and getting into Ivy League schools or big schools, but there's so much more behind it that Rob enlightens you because the decision of what school to put your kid in and how to pay for it is probably one of the toughest decisions and most stressful decisions there are. That's why we bring Rob Schwartz in with Premier College Guide because he helps you through that. He guides you, he gives you insights, he assists you, and also enlightens you. And today he's going to enlighten you on schools you probably may not have thought of, especially when it comes to return on your investment, which is really what you want. A lot of times it's your kid wanting to go to a certain school because he thinks going to USC or UCLA or Cal or Harvard is just the cool thing to do <laughs> until you look at your pocketbook and go, maybe not, or their pocketbook in the future. So Rob's going to enlighten us on that. Thank you for joining us again, buddy. Always glad to be here. How was that friend. intro? Uh, I think you did a terrific job. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and and uh, yeah, I've got a lot of fun stuff to, uh, to share with the audience today. Um, I actually just did a webinar on this. It was uh, broadcast nationally by uh, my friends at Revolution Prep. And uh, I basically am just going to provide a couple of different angles uh, from what I did on that, uh, that webinar last week for those who tuned in. Uh, but we're really going to be looking at best return on investment colleges and the perspective on how do you pursue college in general. It is a, it's a foregone conclusion that almost everyone is, is run down the same track and we're bumping into one another. Uh, as I like to say, Follow the herd. Follow the herd. You're a, you're a sheep. <laughs> I and love that. I love that intro. <laughs> and it's, uh, here's the thing, you know, if, if you look at the numbers, and we're going to examine some numbers today, that you look at the number of kids who are applying, and then you look at the number that are getting into some of these schools, and you go, uh, Does am, that I make I going to play the lottery? <laughs> it's about as tough as getting in, uh, you know, to some of these schools. And then as Don, you know, so eloquently pointed out, are you even a good fit for the school? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you fit their method of learning? You know, you, you look at a large public university with 20 or 30 or 40 or 50,000 undergraduate students. Are you the type of student who likes, you know, raising your hand in class? Guess what you're not going to be doing for a few years. <laughs> you know, these are the types of things you want to be thinking very carefully about as you progress towards these decisions. And most of all, and maybe the best news of all that I can give you in an introductory remark, is there's way more schools than you, are, you can possibly fathom. And of that population, there's tons of good schools. It's the one thing in this country we haven't screwed up. We're good at college. <laughs> Guess what? Everyone else wants to come here for college. Why? Because we're good at it. Because we put, out, <laughs> we put out citizens of the world who are broad thinking, who are well balanced, who can look at multiple disciplines and then apply their major to solving problems in a myriad of different areas. If you go almost anywhere else in the world, you want to study law. You study law as an undergraduate student. In the United States, you study something, anything, and then go to law school where you have some sort of foundation to work on. And you'll find that Lawyers that we produce are going to be stronger, more well thought through, uh, better creative thinkers than just, I understand the law. 
Oh, a nice intro. How about that? That's why we have Rob Schwartz of Premier College Guide joining us today. Uh, you know what? We'd love you to, to join us live because we do video this thing to AP Productions. Uh, Furman back there with the controls. And you can just go to, go to donandgino.com, D-O-N-A-N-D-G-I-N-O.com. Click on the live stream button and we'll allow you enter the Vault Media Studios right here at Skyline Home Loans, right here off of... All right now, all right, we actually just moved to the Sunkiss building. How about that? Thank you all those for allowing us to help you with your home financing, refinances, purchases, all that. We thank you. We thank you. We thank our partners because you allowed us to continue our growth and our ability to help more of you. And Skyline's grown, and now we're in the whole lower floor of the Sunkiss building right by Magic Mountain. So if we leave here uh, and during one of the breaks, go take a ride on X2, and we'll come back. Don't you worry. But more importantly, we have Rob Schwartz with you. And I love that we're going to go over, and, and I already went through the slides, so I, I'm going to cheat a little bit because I'm telling you, if you aren't working with Rob, not just because I think he's phenomenal at his job, but I wish I would have had a Rob while coming out of high school with really good grades, a, a, different, a certain mindset that suited me that Rob would have pointed out and said, here is some schools you need to look at. Or, after looking at this, I'm pissed. Here's the school you... I wish I would have known you beforehand and you would have gone to it and I would have loved going to school there. So please pay attention because it's going to change yours and your child's life because it's not just about going to the Ivy League school. I'm telling you, if the, your child knows at all, you have a good sense of where, what type of person they are or what, what interests them, Rob's got some answers that you're not going to find anywhere else. And like I said, I am not exaggerating. When I went through this, I'm like, I'm so bummed. I did not go through something like this. It would have changed my life. Not that it's gone bad. I love what I do. But I still, college-wise, had better options. There's no doubt. Uh, th and that's, <laughs> that is the situation for everyone, not just, you know, Don, who has to look, you know, hindsight is 2020. But for, for those of you who are freshmen, sophomores, juniors, hey, there's still time. You can still kind of peel back some of the layers here and go, wow, okay, what does this college landscape look like? And most importantly, as a parent, there's a bias. If you don't know the name, it's probably not a good school, right? Wrong. Mm -mm. Do you know how many times I will throw names at, at students or parents and they have no idea what I'm talking about or where it's located or what they're good at? These are phenomenal schools. These are, these are schools that all the ranking guides have in the top 50. And I'm going back. <laughs> he should go back. I'm going he back to college. <laughs> But it's the idea of knowing, look, there's 2,250 four-year not-for-profit schools in this country. Their job is to cater to your needs. Think about that. We're so convinced colleges are this pie-in-the-sky place that we have to beg and claw and scratch just so they'll say, sure, we'll let you in, and here's the forty or $50,000 a year price tag. No. Ow. Here's 2,250 institutions that are businesses. They're businesses. And you should understand that just like you're buying a house or buying a car. Mm -hmm. Are you using the right vendors? Are you looking at the right properties? Are you paying the right prices? What kind of services are you getting? What sort of quality material are you getting? If you're not return asking these questions. Your investment. And the return on the investment, <laughs> which is really what we're here to talk about today. Um, and when we say return on investment, let me give you kind of a... Uh, a definition as we, we go into our first break. How much is it going to cost you to go there? That means the sticker price and what is the expected financial aid? Because some schools have, you know, they have very modest sticker prices, but they're not giving you much money either. Then there's those that have outrageously high prices, but they have deep pockets. Okay, great. Well, that can still work out for us. Many times families will just ignore a school because they go, wow, it's $68,000 a year, forget it. Ah, but maybe they meet all of your demonstrated financial need and maybe you don't have a lot of income. And so it might actually cost you less money to go to the school that's 68 a year versus the state school that's only 25 or 27 a year. Didn't think about that, That's where Rob comes in. <laughs> and, yeah, and, your, and your boy. And my boy Trevor, Trevor that's yeah. true. Uh, so understand that it's, it's what's the cost, what's the financial aid, what kind of money do we expect you're gonna make upon graduation? And what do we expect you're going to make 20 years down the road? And I love that we're also going to go into some colleges you may not have thought of for your children or your grandchildren. Because when Rob went through these, I'm like, oh, 
That is so awesome. I did not know that. Or the types of schools. So we're going to break them all down for you. This is going to be a fantastic show. Like I said, I cheated. I looked ahead. <laughs> it's good stuff. You're going to be so glad you paid attention to this, and you're going to want to share this with your friends and your family when we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show. Don't go away. Good stuff ahead.